Hello guys, in this video we are going to talk about some uh, physics and uh, fluidics mechanics of uh, the vitrectomy surgery. First of all, I'd like to tell you the concepts are different than fake emulsification. For the vitrectomy probe, the flow is determined maybe mainly by the cut rate and the vacuum. The vacuum will be the force to pull the fluid or solid into the probe opening or hole. The cut rate will be the cut of the, the speed of the guillotine to cut any solid particle that enters the hole of the probe. So you need to understand uh, after a lot of research some uh, main concepts. The higher the cut rate, safer the surgery because less traction it will induce in the periphery of the retina. How does it work? When you are aspirating something like the vitreous, a gel, a higher cut rate will generate smaller particles. Smaller particles with the fluid will have a better flow rate into the probe and cause less traction. If you have lower cut rate, it will be harder the vacuum to aspirate the substance, fluidic substance, into the probe, hole of the probe and the tube, so more traction will be caused in the periphery. On the other hand, the higher the vacuum, higher the traction on the vitreous base or on the retina surface. So you want to work always, always, with the highest cut rate that you can. Current uh, vitrectomy machines use about 20,000 cut rate units in the ventral pump. The vacuum can be proportional and you can control on, the, on your foot usually from 0 to 650 I hope you understand uh, and like this concept let me know if you have any suggestion about future content thank you